Is it alive? That's the question people keep asking when they first see the torso by clone in action. Those fluid movements, that natural flex of artificial muscles, the way it reaches and grasps with almost human precision, it's enough to make you forget that you're watching a machine. But this isn't just another robot. This is what happens when eight years of robotics research meets the ambition to recreate human movement in mechanical form. And the result? Well, it's both fascinating and just a little bit unsettling. Let's break down what makes this creation so special. Unlike traditional robots that rely on servos and conventional actuators, the torso uses artificial muscles that mirror human biology. It's like they've taken the blueprint of human anatomy and translated it into mechanical form, but with a twist that makes it uniquely advanced. The torso features an actuated elbow that moves with surprising naturalness, a flexible cervical spine, incredibly complex shoulders that replicate every joint found in human shoulders, the sternoclavicular joint, the acromioclavicular joint, the scapulothoracic joint, and the glenohumeral joint. But what really sets it apart is the 24 degrees of freedom hands. For comparison, human hands have 27 degrees of freedom, so we're talking about a level of dexterity that's remarkably close to our own. Now, traditional robots often have bulky exposed mechanical systems, but the torso takes a different approach. Inside its rib cage, yes, it has a rib cage, sits a compact valve matrix that controls all of these movements. This isn't just about aesthetics, it's about creating a system that's as efficient and self-contained as possible. The power behind these movements comes from what's known as McKibben air muscles, or pneumatic artificial muscles. These were actually developed way back in the 1950s, but Clone has taken this technology to a whole new level. Instead of just using air or hydraulic fluid, they've developed a system that uses boiled low-temperature fluid to create a fully electric-powered version. All right, let's talk power. In demonstration videos, this system has shown impressive strength. The robotic arm alone can lift a 7-kilogram or 15.6-pound dumbbell, and that's with only half the artificial muscles that a human body would have. The clone hand, powered by their proprietary artificial muscles, is reportedly 10 times stronger than most robotic hands available today. But it's not just about raw strength. What's truly remarkable is how these movements look and feel. The torso can perform smooth, natural-looking movements that are eerily similar to human motion. This is not the jerky robotic movement that we're used to seeing. It's fluid, controlled, and remarkably lifelike. So what does all of this mean for the future? Well, the potential applications are vast. Imagine having a household assistant that can handle delicate china with the same care that you would, sorting through fragile items without risk of damage. In industrial settings, these robots could revolutionize manufacturing processes, combining remarkable strength with precision in ways current machines simply cannot match. The healthcare sector stands to benefit enormously, as robots with natural fluid movements could provide more nuanced patient care. Perhaps most intriguingly, this technology could dramatically advance our understanding of human biomechanics, offering insights into how our own bodies function and move. Now, let's take a step back and address the elephant in the room. In today's world of AI-generated content and digital effects, it's natural to be skeptical. Some have pointed out that the demonstration videos are only in 720p resolution, which seems odd for such advanced technology. In an age where even real footage can be digitally enhanced, it's worth maintaining a healthy dose of skepticism. However, Kozlik's track record and the documented development process lend credibility to the project. The technology builds on established principles while introducing innovative improvements, making it more evolution than revolution, which actually makes it more believable, not less. Now, looking to the future, the torso by clone opens up fascinating possibilities while raising some important questions. The company's current work on bimanual manipulation training suggests that we're moving closer to seeing robots capable of complex two-handed tasks in our homes. But as we venture into this new territory, we must carefully consider the broader implications. The role of humanoid robots in society needs thoughtful examination as does the development of comprehensive safety and control mechanisms. 
we'll need to address the psychological impact of increasingly human-like machines on society and establish robust ethical guidelines for their development and deployment. What's particularly fascinating about this project is how it represents the evolution of robotics. We've moved from the rigid industrial robots of the past to today's biomimetic designs that mirror natural movement. Clone's approach suggests that the future of robotics lies not in reinventing human movement, but in carefully studying and replicating it. This journey has not been without its challenges. The team has grappled with numerous technical hurdles, from achieving optimal power efficiency to ensuring precise control over movements. They've had to develop new materials that can withstand repeated use while maintaining flexibility, integrate complex systems that work in harmony, and perfect the coordination of multiple joints and muscles working together. Each challenge solved brings us closer to robots that move with truly human-like grace and capability. As Clone continues to develop and refine this technology, we might be witnessing the early stages of a significant shift in robotics. The focus on biomimicry, copying nature's solutions, could lead to robots that are more capable, more efficient, and more natural in their interactions with humans. The company's approach suggests a future where robots don't just perform tasks, but do so with a level of sophistication that makes them truly useful in complex real-world situations. Whether it's helping with household chores or assisting in specialized technical work, these developments could change how we think about human-robot interaction. But you know what's really fascinating? This is just the beginning of the story. Clone Robotics is constantly pushing boundaries, and there's no telling what incredible developments we might see next. What do you think about this technology? Does it excite you, or does it make you a bit nervous about the future? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're as fascinated by cutting-edge technology as I am, then you don't want to miss what's coming next. Hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to stay updated on the latest breakthroughs in robotics and AI. And trust me, with how quickly this field is evolving, you'll want to be notified the moment we cover the next major development. Until next time, keep your eyes on the horizon. The future of robotics is unfolding right before us and it's more incredible than we ever imagined. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into tomorrow's technology. I'll catch you in the next video.